what inspires me is generally life, um, my past experience, people, uh, flora and fauna. So the magic in life, I guess, capturing what I see and, and how I see it, the positive things, beautiful things. Uh, my name's Killian Love and I'm a professional artist on the Sedge Coast. Um, I've been a practicing artist all my life, so since a child, always playing and creating and making things, so a long time. The project I'm currently working on is the Archibald entry. Um, it will be my first entry and I'm going to be um, submitting a portrait of Tim Fortner. I met Tim, actually, I... <laughs> How I met him is um, I had a little meditation and I thought, who do I want for the Archibald? And I just clicked and I decided it's got to be Tim Fortner. Um, I had this connection with the Tasmanian Devils. And so I just sent out a message to one person and said, do you know him? And they said, yeah. And he called me two hours later and said he'd be honoured to be painted for the Archibald. So, by magic, I say. <laughs> my Archibald piece, I'm trying to communicate um, the message of conservation of our Australian wildlife, our native Australian wildlife. So in this piece there's a fence that blocks out the domesticated and introduced species into Australia and that's an important message because because of those um, they're damaging and, and hurting our native wildlife which we need, which are unique to us in Australia. So by fencing them off and protecting certain sections of Australian native and natural lands, um, they're protecting the Tasmanian devil, the quokkas, the koals, and, and by doing that we keep them breeding and moving. So it's really about fences and protecting our native flora and fauna. I'm always drawn to, when I'm doing these bigger pieces, to using teals and bold pops of red. It is sort of a classic trait that I'm starting to do a lot in my bigger pieces, or in many pieces. Um, I, but I really love the cool calming feeling and very contemporary feeling of the teal. But I always add the red, it, it's sort of in this piece it adds that emergency, with the fence being red, it adds that, that capturing the stop, you know, the emergency. But I do love the feel of that contrast of the cool, calm blue with this intense red, sort of symbolic of who I am as well. The artwork I'm most proud of, well, all of them, but <laughs> um, at the moment, I've got to say my um, entry into the Archibald, I'm really, really proud of. The journey was amazing. Um, the, what I'm trying to say is really important um, about um, extinction and saving animals and being part of Tim's story and conservation. But also uh, my very first artwork I did, which was one of my whales in my blue bottle, really proud of those because it really showed me I'm ready. Um, it's time for me to be who I want to be. Uh, the space we're in right now is my studio, so it's um, a little studio, but it produces big stuff. So this is my home and also my place to create my sanctuary. <laughs>
can't live without in my studio. I was, I would say obviously paints and paintbrushes, but essentially it's music, um, incense, crystals. They bring a sense of calm and, and peace, connection. Uh, the box is where it all began, so it's an old uh, watercolour, Windsor and Newton watercolour box and my father actually bought that like 27 years ago, one, one time we were in holiday in Wales and I've kept that with me forever, like it just happened to come from one place to the other and in my little art supplies and when I went professional, I all I had was that box. I got a scrappy piece of paper and I got out this beautiful little box and I just started painting and that's where the blue bottle came from and the my first original whale so the box is so important because even with just something so simple basic um, tools and a scrappy piece of paper I found my style and who I was so and also the fact that it's my dad had it had bought it for himself as a hobby but for some reason it, it stayed with me so and it's the first time I've ever used watercolour too. <laughs> that was just weird. So it's really important. The best piece of advice I've been given is, uh, one I give myself, but I also constantly get reminded of, is to be myself. Um, my husband tells me that and people who have shared stories with me always say, just be yourself and it always comes through constantly. So I guess we all need reminding of that, <laughs> but yeah, to just be myself.